I'ma go get it, they waiting for buses. I've been taking L's and I lost it, they less. I to get the money, I got an obsession. If trap is a sport, then it'll be my profession. Tell you the truth, I don't got a confession. I don't know why, Lily, I feel aggression. I'ma go get it, they waiting for Back again. What's up, YouTube? Y'all already know how we do this. I am back with another official thank you, y'all. So as y'all can see, I'm a little pumped up because I want y'all to tell me how my new intro was. You know what I mean? I switched the game up a little bit. But that intro couldn't be hot like that without my man, Marvin. Shout out to my man, Marvin. He the one that created my banner for me. And he the one that just did my intro for me. So over here, I'm going to put up um, his Instagram. Y'all tap in, man. Tap into the boy Marvin. The boy Marvin is doing great things over there. You can get your banners done. You can do your intros, your outros. He can edit your videos. Everything, man. If you're an upcoming YouTuber and you try trying to come with the bang of videos and you want your edits to be crazy, holler at Marvin. Marvin is like that. I appreciate Marvin. Marvin hooked me up big time. Um, I love my banner. He he went crazy on my banner. So I'm grateful and appreciate that. Um, but yeah, y'all tap into Marvin, man. Marvin doing big things over there. Y'all shot the boy out. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all not going to be disappointed with the work that Marvin does. He does great work. So with that being said, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Much love to you all. Um, man, reach out to y'all mom. Y'all, your, your mother's the reason why you're here today. So y'all make sure y'all spend time with y'all mom. If you can't spend time with your mom, make sure you get on the phone, call your mom, talk to your mom, FaceTime your mom, do whatever it is you got to do. But it's Mother's Day, y'all. Show that love and appreciation to your mom. To your mom, to your wife, aunts, grandmother, all of it. Show the love and appreciation to these women because these women play major parts in your life. You know what I mean? My aunts play roles into my lives on my mother's side, my father's side, my grandmother, or you know, from my mother's side and my father's side, they play major roles in my life. You know, my um, my mom, my wife, all of it, everybody play major role in my life to be where I am today. So y'all show the love and appreciation to your wives, your mothers, your grandmothers, your aunts, all that, because I know they all play a major role. And there might be a, a another woman you like that played another, you know, a major role, you know, when you were growing up or when you were coming up. It could have been a cousin, a female cousin, whatever. Y'all just make sure y'all show that love and appreciation to the women today because they deserve that, and it's their day. So give them their flowers, you know what I mean? So um, with that being said, prior to this video, you probably, if you're seeing this video, it didn't drop on Mother's Day because like, I was waiting for my man Marvin to give me my intro. So, but y'all getting it now, y'all watching it, y'all rock with me. So I want to come on here today. Um, I guess we can call this another inspiration video, but I kind of wanted to come on here today to talk about um, like athletes are not the only ones that got a platform. You know what I mean? Like we have a platform too. So I choose to use YouTube as a platform for me too because it's certain things that we can speak out about. And I feel like YouTube is my platform where I'm able to speak out about it and talk about it and then bring it to the forefront to you guys for you guys to be able to hear it and also listen. And you know, you can take it with a grain of salt, take it how you want to or how you know it may be. But I feel like um, we all have an, a platform to be able to sit, out, sit here <clears throat> and talk about or discuss things of how we feel. So, like, you know, when stuff happened, like, if it's racially or if somebody got shot or um, um, something happened politically, whatever, you know, we always see athletes speak out, talk out, you know, or actors and all those guys, you know, because they have a platform because they're on that stage where they're always seen, you know, as far as public-wise, so you're always seeing them. So, you know, for for us, <clears throat> for other people like us, you know, our platform is not as big, but we can make it big 
by using our own platforms, by being able to come on. You could do a podcast. You could do a YouTube channel. You could do, um, you could, you know, write your blog. So I know people do blogging and all. You could do that. Like, it's plenty of ways for you to have your voice being heard um, on a platform setting. We don't always have to be an actor or an athlete or someone of some star status to be able to create our own platform. So like I said, I use YouTube to me as my platform to be able to come to bring you guys um, information or things of how I felt. Like when I did a video about Dwayne Haskins, like I felt strongly about about how the two men talked about him, you know, after he died. Whereas the other athletes, they could express it like the football players, they can express that by, you know, tweeting or um, writing something on Instagram, you know what I mean? It, because their following is so big and so crazy and that the athletes, they're able to reach, you know, at a, at a bigger level. So for us, we, we can reach the same level too. So we don't have to hesitate and feel like, oh, well, we can't do this or do that. We can do the same thing. We can be heard and we can move mountains just like everybody else, no matter what. So don't look at yourself as though you cannot do those seven things because you can. You can move mountains just like everybody else. You just got to use your platform. You know what I mean? Be smart about it. Use your platforms and move in the right direction of how you want to move. Um, it's always a way to make it happen. You just got to be strategic and smart. You don't have to feel like it's impossible to do because nothing's impossible. You can do whatever you want to do in this world. So I, want you guys, I don't want you guys to feel like you can't. And if you and if you know and you do, you know what I mean. Then that's then I'm hats off to you, and I'm glad that you're able to use your platforms of what you're doing. But I just want to come on today to try to, you know, let people know, like you know, we can we can make our own platforms and bring that to the forefront. We don't have to sit back and feel like like we can't because we can. You know what I mean. So don't feel that way. You know what I mean. I, I'm. You can make it happen. Like I said, you can move mountains big time. And um, you know what I mean? It could be about any topic that you feel that bothers you. Anything. Whatever it may be. You know what I mean? You want your point to come across. You might be camera shy. You might not want to be on, on on a YouTube perspective or something like that. You might want to just do like a podcast situation where it's always like people just listen to you on a podcast and you're not being recorded. However it may be, you can do that. You know what I'm saying? Or you might just want to write it and and publish it that way. You could also do it that way. But don't let it don't let it stop you from being able to get your point across because it's feeling inside of you and you want to get it out. You don't want to hold that inside. You want that to come out. So my same reaction how I felt about the situation with Diane Hackens, I immediately said to myself, I gotta get this off my chest. Not only do I want to get it off my chest, I wanted to bring it to the forefront. Because it should have been brought to the forefront because those guys were wrong. And that's how I felt about it. And they were wrong. They came out later and made their apologies. And I'm not going to fault them for not making I mean, for their apologies. Some people feel different ways about it. But the way I felt in that moment, I felt like my platform, I had to stand in my platform and make it be known that it was wrong and the way I felt about it. So if it's a different way of you guys forming a podcast or, you know, like I said, writing about it, however it may be, I strongly, strongly telling you guys to do it. Don't hold it back to do it. Speak on it, whatever it may be. If it's a political issue that you don't like, if it's, uh, um, I don't know, uh, some type of crime issue, whatever it may be, like, Whatever it may be that you feel as though that you want to get it out, let it out. Don't hold that back. You know what I mean? Our platforms are just as big. Don't feel like it's not going to be heard because your point will be heard. You just got to push for it. You got to push for it. Don't sit there and lay back on it and think that, you know, you laying back on your thoughts is going to change or, you know, no one's going to hear it. No. Put it out there. Let it be known. You know what I mean? Let it be known how you feel. And be honest. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. Don't come out here and, 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 and you know, be fake and phony about it. No, be honest. Be true to who you are. Say exactly how you feel. And you can say exactly how you feel in the right manner. It don't have to come out as you cussing and fussing and 
going all crazy. No, choose the right words, but express how you feel. And you can express how you feel in the right way. You don't have to be nasty about it. You don't have to be crazy, all disrespectful. You can just express yourself in the right way. But in that heat of that moment, like to say you creating a video or something in the heat of that moment, and you know you and listen, you know yourself. And hear that moment. If you feel like when you're creating this and you're going to be so angry that you're going to be real uh, nasty and rude and cussing about it, what you should do is take the time, a cool off period, cool off period, gather your thoughts. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you might have to take a ride. You might have to take a walk, whatever it may be. Find a way to calm yourself down. So if it's you getting in the car, riding down the street, you know, with your window down, turn your music up, and you just need to, you know, the air, just maybe the air and the breeze, so you riding and that cooling you down, or you listening to your song, and that's something to that just, you know, bring you down. Or, you know what I mean, you just want to take a walk around the block and talk to yourself as you walk and the calm yourself down. However it may be, make sure you calm yourself down. Then after you calm yourself down, you sit there and you think of your thoughts. And I say, write it down. Write it out. Write out what you want to say. You know what I'm saying? Write it out. Because, you, I mean, yeah, it's up here, but you're not going to retain it all. You know what I mean? So write it down how you feel, what you want to do to express yourself, and how you want to do it. Even if you're going to leave it in the writing format where you want to, you know, put it out there in that way. Or you want to talk about it on, your, on a podcast or something like that. But write your information down, have your notes and all that stuff, and talk about a podcast. Or if you can come on here like me and do a YouTube video, write it out. Talk about it. You know what I mean? Express yourself. Because when you write it out, you you you, you thought it through, and you know that you're going to come out and you're going to say it in a respectful manner. You're not going to come out nasty and crazy and often. You want to come out in a respectful manner, but you want to get your point across and you want to be true to yourself okay because we those things that people sometimes we don't do we just react and we're not thinking the whole process through so let's be able to think that process through first before we come out and we make a reaction you get what i'm saying so that will help on a long way and you, like i said you'll still get your point across the way you get it that you want to get across and you'll still be able to express exactly how you feel so don't feel fear that you don't have a platform to put your stuff out there because you do. And I believe in you, all of you. You got your own platform, make it happen, make it work. Don't sit there and bite on your words, make it happen. Put it out there, put it out there in the universe. Don't sit there and hold back. Cause I like to hear, I would like to hear however you may feel about a certain topic. You know what I mean? Express yourself, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, I think I'm going to close my video right here. Um, I hope I was able to reach somebody with that information and, and give them some positivity to um, to be able to make that movement. Don't hold that information. And also, guys, also, I'm starting a new thing every month. I'm writing down five goals that I want to accomplish for the month. I kind of stole it from my boy, Avery B, but I think it's a great idea. Is that for every month, write down five goals that you want to accomplish. It ain't got to be like crazy outrageous goals like um, I want to lose 200 pounds in a month. You know what I mean? It ain't got to be nothing like that. It could just be something small and simple like I want to drink water, more water every day. Say I want to drink a gallon of water every day. Or um, I want to learn how to, I don't know, I want to learn how to play this such and such game. Or I want to learn how to... Um, I want to learn how to hit a baseball or softball. Whatever it may be, just make yourself a, go a, a goal. Five goals. Write them down. Write them goals down. Put them on your wall. Put them on a piece of paper. However it may be, put it in front of you. And, and, and make sure you look at those goals and try to accomplish those goals in the month. You know what I mean? When the month is over, so I see this is the beginning of May. So I already wrote down my five goals of what I want to do. Um... I'm trying, I don't, even, I, I don't have it in front of me, but I know one of my goals is, is that I want to become monetized by the end of this month. 
So I want to push to be able to become monetized by the end of this month. You guys already got me my 1,000K subscribers. Now I just got to get my 4,000 hour watch time hours. So um, I still need y'all help to be able to get there. I'm pushing for that. But that's one of my goals. And I have, like, you know, my other four goals. But I want you guys to do the same thing. Write down five goals that you want to accomplish for the month. Five goals. Just think about it. And like I said, it ain't got nothing to be, it ain't got to be crazy. It could just be five small things that you want to do. You know what I mean? And I'm going to twist to do this every single month. When new month come, write down new a new set of goals for the month. For five goals that I want to get to. So, <clears throat> You got to manifest it. You got to have manifestation, guys. You got to be able to push that to be able to get to where you want to go into. And then you got to put that work in that driving and push yourself. So um, leave me down in the comments. You know, you could say, hey, I got my five goals or whatever. You don't have to tell me what your five goals are. I'm just asking you. Try it. Write down five. You know what I mean? Just think about it. You know what I mean? It took me a couple of days to figure out what my five goals wanted to be, but I found out what my five goals wanted to be. It might take you a day or two. Or you might already have an idea of five goals that you want to do. But I'm just asking you to push yourself to be able to write out five goals, five, that you will want to accomplish for the month. So with that being said, guys, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all y'all, y'all putting in that work for me, like I said, and I'm going to put in that work for y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Turn me up. Turn me up, y'all. Please go crazy. And tell me in my comments if y'all like my new banner and if y'all like my new intro. Because I, myself, I love my banner and the intro just go crazy. And like I said, check out the boy Marvin. I already put it up in, I think I put a picture up already, but I could put it up again. Tap in with the boy Marvin. He going to get you right. I promise y'all. So with that being said, peace love and blessings to you all and all mothers out there happy mother's day to y'all i love y'all peace